let's go ahead and now start adding some uh, rocks population right here and notice we always work just with one material because this is main for our terrain so we'll go open for edit and then next we're going to create a new material convert to ecosystem and we'll call this large rocks okay we'll go to now in general tab add item and we'll add a rock so as a rocks we have it convections that it's come with the wood default we'll go inside this move because we want to place by the river band and i think this one when obvious rock will work very well because it will kind of match what we want to have okay let me uh, just a second let's wait till it's finished loading and right here we have it, our rock but again population i want to put it just right on the sides right there so to do that um we'll go to enable highlighter first for our rock so we can preview where it's located and next going into our presence and again put it a little bit down here and a little bit from the bottom so kind of can see where's that um cutting off so i think slope range around this area will be better let's go also switch to our top of your main camera okay back to our terrain edit okay yeah and we'll take altitude probably around okay there so we can see where the rocks kind of going maybe a little bit lower i don't think it's no, we'll just put a little bit lower here and as well let's go add slope restraint for this so we'll have it don't kind of display side more on this you know what maybe a little bit lower crease and adds thousandness and maybe a little bit flatter i think that way going okay we also want on the steep just a little bit add fuzziness okay i think that one is about right position now we can go ahead and remove our uh, marker okay, the slope range okay all this will go in general and let's click on populate right now so you can see as population it's gone inside here mostly on the side where i want it but again leave it too many of those rocks they're very quite a bit large for us so we can go actually let's squeeze so we have a bigger preview right there they're quite a bit large rocks and they are not really in the ground so what we're we going in a density we'll go decrease density of them Okay, we'll also scaling a little bit reduce maybe seven seven but this way and right here where it says from the surface i want to decrease put it by minus 0.2 so it's about 20 centimeters below the ground it will be okay let's do minus 0.2 okay minus 20 centimeters okay now we can populate again and you can see rocks quite a bit less and then now a little bit more in the ground it's what we're going after we'll go again present and i think a little bit decrease height so let's reduce here increase there let's click populate we'll just move them a little bit more closer to the water okay now top one reducing okay, let's click populate again so I think this is about right for the larger rocks. We can kind of net need find right. Okay, inside the water. Yeah, I think that will look good. Okay, we can always go ahead and click render. 
so we can preview our rocks and you can see kind of going around I think that is good except they're too large quite a bit large rocks uh, let's go to the density and take down density okay this is one large rocks next we want to create a new layer small rocks so for this one same we'll convert this to the ecosystem particle okay, let's save our work we'll go to add rocks we'll select the same rock we have before it's quite a bit faster load now um, next in the density okay first in general what do we want we want affinity we want to bring these rocks so they build around the bigger rocks so kind of stacking almost now scaling will go way down and let's click populate so you'll notice as we're going that with uh, population that will become quite a bit closer to the bigger rocks okay so we'll change our camera to main camera and we'll go render one more time so let's see from here we have it small rocks and right there you can see the kind of start populating by big rocks is what we wanted uh, we do want maybe um, reduce or add a little bit more of those rocks we'll see but I think they need to go a little bit down more okay so let's go ahead back to our terrain editor on the small rocks let's increase density a little bit higher okay we also populate minus point maybe a, a zero five like five cents okay, so let's go click on populate and uh, the rocks i think the large ones still maybe too high so let's go select them and we'll put it probably about let's go to 40 centimeters populate them bring them a little bit more down yep i think that is better and let's go with small rocks Affinity may be a little bit less affinity in this case. Increase density. Let's click populate. Should bring. Yeah, we have rocks, except we're going a little bit high. We can bring them down. So we'll go in a. And take. So we'll remove some from this area, maybe even lower. Okay, so we can see, I think this has come very good right now. Um, yeah, in the small rocks, we want to drop, let's go to density, five centimeters. Let's go drop maybe to about seven centimeters. So I'll go a little bit even lower in the ground. That way they will kind of blend a little bit nicer with the environment okay so this is one rock next I want to create rocks a little bit more in waterbed itself so let's go create a new layer okay, I'm going to save this as we're going um, river rocks that is will be inside we'll go switch this to the ecosystem let's go to add rocks and for this one, you know what, let's go maybe with a little bit darker. So the kind of ground will be much lower. Kind of working for us. Okay, now let's go to present right there and we'll just take down and let's go enable highlight. A little bit too high, we'll bring a little bit even down more so we have it right around that area and about here okay let's click populate and you can see our rocks just about right place even lower okay now on the scaling we definitely want much smaller but we're doing this it will bring quite a bit of them so we'll see We have quite a bit of rocks going. Okay, let's go to the channel and we'll just also bring them just a little bit closer on a clustering. 
Okay, scale, maybe even lower. Density, let's go ahead and put it uh, minus 0.2, so it's two centimeters below ground. Populate one more time. So we can see kind of what edges again. Um, I was going to present, drop down more, a little bit on the top. So I don't necessarily want them to be all over. I think that one will look good. So let's go again, populate our large rocks. We'll populate the small rocks. Okay, next we can go to um, re-enable water. And let's render and see how they come up right now. Okay, so right here the render is done. And you can see we have it in the water, those rocks. I mean, through the reflection actually coming pretty good. Um, we do have it a big rocks, a little bit brighter color. We'll see if we need to modify, but I think it will work okay when we start adding plants. Um, so let's go add grass and other elements um, in the next tutorial.